Hello and welcome to another episode of Business and Bubble Tea. Here on the podcast today, we have with us Dr. Shansen Zhao, a lead researcher at BGI Genomics. Uh, Dr. Shansen, it's fantastic to have you on Business and Bubble Tea here with us today. Okay, I'm glad to, to see you. Yeah. Let's start with um, a brief introduction about BGI Genomics. Uh, what is it about and what does your research focus on specifically? Okay. Uh, you know, BGI was founded in um, about 20 years ago. Uh, it was founded in 1999. Uh, now it is one of the world's last, largest uh, companies that's working on uh, life science and genomics. Uh, BGI focuses on uh, genomics research and its uh, applications in uh, lots of areas uh, like cancer research, plant and animal, and animals, uh, breeding, uh, and uh, uh, something like that. Uh, now it uh, has started business in more than 1,000, uh, uh, sorry, uh, 100 countries and regions around the world. Wow, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah most of Huge. the countries yeah, and it has a student that we have, co- uh, have uh, projects that collaborate with. Yeah. Uh, BGI has established amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, has established uh, cooperation and uh, partnerships uh, with thousands of different uh, uh, institutes and uh, colleges across uh, um, uh, uh, the across the world, uh, including uh, medical health <laughs> research, conservation, uh, uh, and something uh, like that. Uh, at the same time, oh. BGI provides equipment, uh, technical support, and solutions for the needs of national economics and people's livelihoods, such as uh, precision medicine and precision mm. health. Uh, BGI now um, is committed to uh, applying its genetic and technological achievements to real world uh, in order to realize the dreams of transomics for a better life. Uh, that's all. <laughs> yeah. So what I get, what I what I get from that is it's very very uh, broad in terms of what you're covering, but the main focus is looking at the application, I guess, of um, understanding of gene genes and gene technology. Yeah, right. And right. then it covers across a wide range of different yeah. industries. Yeah, from right, right. Oncology all the way into sort of the agri tech sector, um, and then you've got uh, medical application. Yeah. So. What does what does your area of, of research particularly focus on? I uh, yeah, uh, you know uh, I come to I come to BGI about fourteen years ago uh, for an intern and uh, uh, when I was a uh, was an graduate and then I went wow. to, <laughs> and that's a long time yeah and then I went to the Chinese University of Hong Kong for my PhD studies. Mm. And I'm focusing on plant genomics and the population genetics and uh, the application of genomics in uh, nutrition and agriculture. Uh, that's a great area uh, and uh, moving fast uh, nowadays. Uh, because BGI um, has a lot of every, uh, areas, uh, that's about the large part I was involved in, uh, plant and, and, and animals. The other uh, group is uh, about human. Uh, you know, uh, when mm. you research deep uh, and are focusing on plants uh, more uh, instead of humans, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit more of maybe recent projects or recent uh, research that you are that you are doing some findings or some interesting um, interesting topics or? Okay. Uh, yeah. For example, uh, the uh, crop genomics, uh, uh, we take uh, rice as an example. You know, rice, mm. we mm-hmm. eat yep. rice <laughs> every day almost. Uh, because <laughs> we, want to know, we want to know how the rice was evolved. Uh, I, I mean, it's origination. Because there, there is a lot of debate about uh, the revolution and the origin of uh, rice. Uh, whether it's uh, originated mm-hmm. from the India, uh, South China, and uh, you know how we uh, uh, cultivated this uh, uh, crop from the wild uh, is wild yeah. progenitors to uh, to uh, nowadays the uh, uh, the main breeding uh, styles mm. styles. So a lot of uh, yeah. physiological and uh, uh, phenotype has been changed uh, uh, during the long 
history during uh, cultivation history. I mean, um, because uh, the rice from the taller was dropped, dropped, and uh, yep. uh, yeah, <laughs> and it can uh, has a high yield. Uh, it has mm. a high yield. So, yeah, we want. So, so in, in yeah. terms. So I guess just can I inter- interrupt you there? Sorry, that is is it. So in terms of I guess what you're seeing with the trends, looking more specifically at rice. Yeah, right. Are you um, investigating? Um, I guess uh, gene. I guess editing, uh, editing the crops to produce higher yields to to uh, maybe make it uh, more resilient to weather. What's yeah. the? Yeah, um, more resilient. I guess to, uh, different climate. Yeah, but first we we have to. Decode which kind of genes that are responsible for these changes. Uh, we do a lot of analysis to find out the genes. Uh, based on these genes, yep. then we can take we can take some efforts to change it. Yeah. Yep. Amazing, amazing. And so, what kind of uh, recent findings, I guess, or what's the sort of really pertinent finding you've come across within the sort of gene research mm-hmm. of rice? Yeah. Uh, uh, Nowadays we can uh, we 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 have genes uh, we we find the genes that is responsible for shattering you know uh, uh, wow you know, for in wild uh, crops the seed will yeah. come with the wind <laughs> but nowadays yeah. uh, for modern crops it will stay on the plants and uh, uh, the other is we know some uh, some genes that determine the composition of starch. Different mm. starch that were, that uh, is uh, uh, important in our health, you know. Uh, yeah, we can change these genes for better uh, rice uh, accessions. Amazing, amazing. And, and looking, is it is? Sorry, go on, looking, Roberta. Looking back at um, your your past research as well, have you always focused on on these areas specifically, or also other? You mentioned earlier maybe cancer research and also these kind of yeah. activities, yeah. Um, or, or bro- more broad talking about BGI. Yeah, right, right. Uh, uh, I I have talk, talked a lot about uh, my research. Uh, in fact, BGI is dedicated to kinds of researches of genomes, mm. tumors, brain science. A reproductive health and uh, plant animal uh, uh, molecular breeding. I have talked uh, based on these major projects on human health, animals, and microorganisms. Uh, it uh, uh, the student conducts in depth uh, scientific research and uh, cut uh, technological uh, development at the DNA level, RNA level, and uh, is. Uh, modifications and protein level, and uh, then uh, applied them uh, to decode the population uh, genetics and the evolutionary history. We want to construct the and, tree of life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing. And, yeah. and, and is, is BGI a, um, so, so just, in, I'm trying to understand the sort of, um, business model, so to speak. So is it a government, um, funded, um, operation, or is there sort of avenues that you're looking at applications of um, or what you're you're investigating, discovering to to make uh, profitability? What is the um, I guess the the, the the support behind BGI, um, and and what does it uh, represent uh, being based within China? Yeah, you asked a good question. Uh, BGI uh, <laughs> is complex. Yeah, it has part uh, yeah. part of n- a non-profit part. You know, we have an a, a institute. The institute was owned by the uh, Shenzhen government, um, but was operated mm-hmm. by BGI Group. Uh, and also we have a well, okay. uh, yeah, large uh, facility. Uh, we, we call it National Gene Bank. It also belongs to the yep. government, but uh, uh, BGI uh, re- operates it. And we have a... Typical, uh, we have two typical companies that uh, has uh, finished this IPO several years ago that focusing on uh, mm-hmm. uh, number, um, uh, like uh, testing, uh, genetic testing. Uh, that, uh, that is typical uh, companies that has uh, uh, finished this IPO. Uh, yeah. Amazing. So it's, it's can, complex. Can I, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it's 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 super interesting because obviously gene gene um, editing is becoming a really big hot sector as well. In in if you look at the U.S. markets, for example, where you have you have a range of different companies looking at, um, I guess uh, you know, for example, NK cell therapies where you're yeah, yeah, editing yeah. Yeah. Uh, editing cells to to tackle sort of oncology applications. Yeah. Um, do you have um, I guess collaborations with or um, with uh, in the more kind of international uh, researcher scene, do you, um, is there international collaboration as well? Uh, on, on, what, on gene editing? Yeah, yeah, on sort of the gene editing and, 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 sh and findings <laughs> and the, the research. Uh, yeah, we, in fact, we have, a, uh, we have a large group that's focusing on, uh, like, uh, uh, you know, uh, gene therapy. As uh, mm -hmm. uh, antibody development and uh, gene editing, yep. uh, but you, you know, uh, gene editing editing has uh, its application in plant and animals has some policy problems in China. Uh, maybe yep. uh, also it has some ethics <laughs> around the world. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in fact, I know the guys uh, in, uh, in who who was working in Shenzhen has edit he. He was he edited uh, he uh, edited the uh, the two babies uh, several years wow. ago. Okay. Yeah, I know. But it was um, uh, accused a lot of uh, criticism. Um, yeah, because... is is that is that a, a particular um, is that one of the the big risks you see with this kind of technology? Because we always talk about you know you look at the guy who's developed uh, Chat GPT, um, yeah. and he talks about the big risks. Of such yeah, innovations, right, and his right. his was more from the perspective of like, I guess, yeah. um, job replacement and technology moving so fast. What yeah. are some of the, the 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 risks, and how can we maybe mitigate them with with this type of technology? Uh, yeah, I want to talk something about this because uh, we say uh, if one understands a gene deeply, he would have the impulse mm. to change or uh, manipulate it. Yeah, but. You know the mm. technology is developing. It has different research uh, risks in its applications. Yep. Maybe for gene genetic editing, you know, uh, it also usually met uh, some problem problems of of target. Uh, the main of target mm. is if you want to uh, edit this kind of gene, but it was uh, uh, targeted to the other genes, that will cause some problems. Uh, yeah, yep. um, and. Uh, most of the uh, ethical uh, concerns related uh, with uh, sequencing uh, gen gen genome editing uh, around the human uh, germline because uh, the editing changes made in germline would be passed uh, down to the future generation uh, and also yep. it will out of your uh, original out of your country maybe it uh, has some un uh, uh, unproposed uh, 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 effects on uh, when you apply uh, apply this kind of gene uh, uh, gene editing technologies, and, yeah. And how can we how can we mitigate those those risks? Those sort of I guess unforeseen unforeseen risks. Is there a way to do it, or are we still just researching uh, potential applications? Uh, nowadays, I, I I believe we have to uh, invest a lot uh, on the basic research to improve the uh, gene editing tools uh, to yep. pursue the high uh, precision uh, application. And the other, I want, I want to see, uh, I want to say that we use some uh, animal, uh, ex experiment animals uh, to do this, to test uh, this uh, kind of technologies instead of apply these in humans, uh, in human uh, yep. infants. Um, because we have to uh, make sure this uh, technology is, uh, and reduce uh, its risks uh, to make these technologies yep. more uh, more better, <laughs> make it better to <laughs> apply it. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Uh, and uh, I what think amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You go ahead. Yeah. Oh, okay, uh, I want to uh, add some about the uh, bioethics uh, because uh, some studies would make uh, gene uh, therapy uh, safe and effective that should uh, uh, continue to be supported. 
And uh, some agree,、mm. uh, the public agree that it is important to have uh, continuing uh, public discussions uh, or debate debate、uh, on these、yep. issues、uh, to allow the public. I mean,、uh, to allow the public to decide and know whether or not uh, uh, this kind of technology technologies should be applied. I think the to make the public.、Uh, Involved in this kind of discussion is important. Yeah,、uh, the same thing uh, also uh, happened in GMO. You know, genetically、yep. modified plants. Uh, uh,、yep. We say、uh, transgenic crops.、Uh, already, the technology、uh, has been. I think. I think is already、uh, good enough to use in、uh, in is in breeding. But、uh, yep. uh, the public、uh, will not、uh, accept it uh, in uh, in is、uh, especially in China. Yeah, we cannot、yep. uh, apply the GMOs in our field. Yeah, there's a problem. Yeah, <laughs> not just the technologies. Yeah,、uh, it's related with science communications, something like that. I think. Yeah. <laughs> And what do you think for you is the most exciting thing of、uh, doing research? So pursue.、Um, A career in in research.、Uh, okay, uh, I want to uh, add, talk something about the the model of BGI. How BGI evolved,、uh, developed these twenty years.、Mm. Uh, I want to talk something about this, and、uh, I want to、uh, then I want to discuss something about.、Uh, What I understand in、uh, these、mm. years、uh, for the research and for the、uh, career development,、um, mm -hmm. big big、uh, for for BGI, it、uh, insists、uh, the technological invention uh, and uh, scientific discovery and、uh, industrial、mm -hmm. development. It combines this、uh, case,、uh, this different case together、uh, to promote、yep. uh, like. Uh, Uh, industrial university research uh, uh, to construct、uh, this kind of community uh, and uh, build uh, a bigger platform,、uh, combine bigger resources, bigger collaborations.、Uh, then it uh, uh, communicate uh, accumulate a lot of big data and、uh, public a lot of public、uh, re research papers big,、uh, for some big、mm -hmm. science and then it.、Uh, Uh, developed some、uh, big industries, you know.、Uh, based on this、uh, development model, we have、uh, established uh, uh, BGI uh, group, and uh, we uh, trained a lot of talents. I mean, uh, uh, workers here, uh, sci young scientists here, <laughs> and uh,、yeah. uh, what uh, uh, the red thing BGI、uh, are doing? I, I think is around the uh, to set uh, to. Uh, uh, to uh, to satisfy the need,、uh, the demand of human.、Uh, be, uh, for one thing is、uh, we want to know how we evolved and how、uh, plant and and animals that get together with us evolved.、Uh, that's a that's a kind of、uh, metaphysical、uh, interesting. We want to uh, know uh, to rebuild the、uh, evolutionary tree. Want to. Uh, uh, Decode uh, uh, and uh, explain uh, how human uh, being uh, shift.、Uh, that's one thing. And the other is、uh, we want to uh, apply or the,、uh, promote the agriculture uh, area. Mm -hmm. You know, based in agriculture, we have to we can satisfy.、Uh, we eat. Uh, uh, we satisfy. <laughs> we can eat、uh, uh, enough food, and、uh, we can eat bad、yep. food. Yeah. And、uh, the other is、uh, medicine. You know,、uh, when we have satisfied,、uh, we have、uh, removed the hungry、uh, problems, and we can、uh, pursue to a better life. We can, I、mm -hmm. mean,、uh, we live better and we live longer. So,、uh, based on this basic、uh, need need of humankind, I think、uh, BGI is、uh, is focusing on this. Uh, to settle on, settle these problems, it、uh, gets some chance to develop. I, Amazing! I, I think that's the、uh, most uh, uh,、yeah. interesting thing. I, 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 or maybe the most important lesson I have learned、yeah. in、uh, BGI here. Yeah.
So I guess that's sort of no, three, three key areas. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll just I'll just quickly quickly yeah. summarize. So three key areas. Um, yeah. One is the applications to to healthcare, understanding yeah. our origins and the human human genome. Yeah. And then uh, the final one was um, focusing on, I guess, production of um, crops. And, yeah, right. Um, optimizing yeah, that yeah. to yeah. agricultural applications. Yeah. Right. Um, well, um, Dr. Shanson, that, that's all we've got time for today. But thank you so much for joining us <laughs> yeah. on Business and Bubble Tea. It's been an absolute pleasure. Okay. Okay. My pleasure. Yeah.